It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from New Wolf Brewing Company and it's a can of their Voyager Amber Lager. I was contacted by these wonderful people on Instagram. They said, would you like to try some beer? Absolutely, yes, I would. 4.8% ABV in a 440 milliliter can. Looks really interesting and 4.8% ABV, yes, looks really good, all the hops on there, um, probably what I'm going to look like in my in my 60s, <laughs> and uh, cobras and palm trees and seagulls and magpies and everything else that is weird and wacky in the world on the front of this can. Yeah, I like it, I like it, it looks good. Uh, so let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. They are based in, I think, Maidenhead, Maidenhead, UK. A little bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass. Now this looks good, a nice amber, hoppy, hoppy amber ale. We'll get the last little bit of the can in a moment. I think by the last dribble in the can, I'm gonna say that it's not a can conditioned beer. It's been filtered. It's amber in colour, of course, nice levels of carbonation, beer rising up the side of the glass, and it's a one finger, slightly off white head. It looks good, it looks really, really good. Very inviting. You can brew beers in, well, any way you so wish. I think you have to brew beer region to region like where i'm from very industrial town is barry so is cardiff so is newport so is swansea all of south wales big industry over the years and people get into their heads over the years when they go to their working men's clubs when they go to their pubs and bars um, over generation after generation of drinking beer, um, the grandfather probably told the son and then the son told the grandson and they all kind of grew up through the ages, of course. They were all told to drink clear, or not told to. Your beer should be clear, your beer shouldn't be cloudy. But then again, if you moved from that industrial area into somewhere... I don't know, a little bit more kind of maybe countryside like. Maybe the beers have a tendency to kind of, you can make a cloudy beer and people will drink a cloudy beer. But it's mindset. In fact, quick story. I'll, I'll tell you the story in a moment because I want to get into this beer. Let's get the aroma. It was a story, it was something that happened to me just last night. Aroma on this clear amber beer. Toffee, malt, biscuity, nutty, bready. It smells good. It smells really good. It's uh, almost like a popsicle, like a toffee, fruity toffee popsicle aroma. Smells really good, let's dive in. Cheers everyone. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. Good balance between sweet malt, biscuitiness, nuttiness, and a lovely hop finish. It's quite crisp. Crisp, refreshing, drinkable, lovely. Carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. 
Good stuff. Right, let's see. Okay, yeah, so it's it's not a it's not a hazy beer. So maybe Maidenhead, where this brewery's from. It's an area maybe of industry. I don't really know Maidenhead at all. Maybe it's one of those kind of generational things where Father tells son, son tells his son, you know, drink clear, clear beer, don't drink cloudy beer. And it's a, it's a bit of a myth, really. Um, going back to my story from last night. So I went out playing snooker last night. And we went in the snooker room, had a frame of snooker, come out, got a beer. Uh, we have a kind of beer match type of thing. And uh, John, who's a lovely guy, really, really, really kind of salt of the earth, down to earth guy. Um, he was looking rather kind of like a bit kind of like he'd had a guts full. And me and Chris, we play, oh, I played snooker with him. I said, what, what's, what, what's going on, John? What's the matter? He said, oh, I just, the away team come in to play Skittles and they always cause commotion. Always cause a commotion. Um, they want to drink Strongbow. We don't sell Strongbow. We sell Sharps cider now any man who knows anything about beer cider they all know that the, the strongbow sharp cider it can be the very it's probably brewed or produced exactly the same way with the same stuff it's just people see an advert on the television and they want to drink Strongbow. And I think it's mindset, isn't it? It's mindset. Like my mindset is to go, there's 20 beers on this counter in front of me. They're all different from Italian Pilsners to New World Pilsners to IPAs to ESBs to Belgian Sours to Dragon Stouts from, is this one from Jamaica? It's from a far out place, this one. Product of Jamaica. So a, a Jamaican stout. And my mindset is to try a million different beers. But then there's other people's mindsets that, oh, I can only drink Strongbow. Maybe because the adverts told me to watch it or drink it on the television. And it's kind of like, it's, I find that a bit bonkers if you ask me. But going back to it, it's a very similar, if you think about that man who just wants to drink Strongbow, it's very similar to that man who just wants to drink clear beer. If you put cloudy beer in front of some people, they wouldn't go near it. They wouldn't go near the stuff. But, you know, I'm all for trying loads of different experiences in life. You're only here once, aren't you? We're not here for a long time. Try as many different things as possible. So it probably explains why this beer is clear. Maybe Maidenhead is clear beer country. But it's nice. It's malty, it's biscuity, it's bready. It's hoppy, it's very drinkable. Yeah, it's an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.